Hello everyone and welcome back to the Isles of Morrowind. In Tamriel on Nern, between Azura's moon and star, on the seventh cusp of the first era of the dawn of man. I don't know what the hell I'm going on about, it's going to be one of those episodes. Alright, so last time we befriended uh, some tribes, where the hell are we now? We're in the Zainab camp. Did we ever speak to the Zainab tribe? I don't remember. Oh, apparently we did. The Zainab Ashland, a wise woman, Sonomumu Zubamat said that the tribe needs some cure common disease and cure blood. Now, apparently, some people were saying this isn't actually anything to do with the, uh, the main quest. This is just a little side thing, so we're gonna say, Suck on my huevos, lady. I'm helping you with your random ass shit. Uh, so we're gonna leave that for now. Also, apparently, I was told that, um, if you become the Hortator before you become the Nerevar, you know, in the eyes of the people, because of course we are all of these things, and more, because we're delightful. We're a wonderful human being that everybody should love and adore, and I fucking hate every single one of them. Anyway, uh, we should become the Horde Tour before we become the Nerufar, apparently. Uh, if you do that first, it's much easier. I don't know why. Now, I know some people are going to be like, well, you know, I'm watching this because it's a blind let's play, and, you know, if you take feedback from viewers, it's not truly blind. Well, true! Yes, I agree with that. And to see, I get the same thing on my live stream. Sometimes people are like, oh, yo, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna rent it. Whoa, look at that shadow. Oh, it's like a bloody stingray flying across the sky. Where's my storm ruler, lady? Where's my storm ruler? Anyway, I'm gonna rant about this for a second here. I guess I may as well, well, I don't really know where I'm going, so let me just go into this. I, I get the same thing on live stream sometimes. People on uh, the VODs or whatever, which means video on demand, aka the recorded version of a live stream. Why is the... What, did, what was up with that shadow? It's leaving now. It's so strange. Anyway, let me get to the point. Sometimes people are like, oh, you know, uh, because you're live streaming, even though it's blind, because of the feedback from the chat, it's not really blind, because people tell you where to go and blah, blah, blah. Not really. You know, I mean, to me, blind means I don't know the story. I don't know the ending. Uh, I don't know who, you know, I'm going to run into like... I mean, put it this way. Did I know I was the Nerevar? Well, actually, I... I did know that, but that had been spoiled. <laughs> That's a bad example. That had been spoiled, uh, you know, long before I played this game. But for example, that wasn't spoiled by the commenters. So, you get my point. Had I not known that already, that would have been something we learn. We learn in the stories, we go along. Where I'm going, I don't know. I get a lot of pointers here and there, yes, but that's to make it a more pleasurable experience for the viewer. To do something truly blind, truly blind, I would have to never look anything up. And I've had to look things up in this game, you know, to give me at least a little bit of direction. Because they're like, oh, it's in the library. But it's not really in the library, it's in the room next to the library, underneath a trap door under a mat. So I guess what I'm saying is... I know some people won't like the fact that I was told to become the Horde Tour before the Nerevar. It's still mostly blind. This is what you're going to understand. The, the most important parts, in my opinion, are blind. You know, I haven't been spoiled on the story and blah blah blah. I'm not going to run anymore. Anyway, so, uh, let's go into, uh, this thing here. So, how does one become the Horde Tour? I guess we need to scroll back and check it out real quick. White Gua? <laughs> Fucking racist, man! Why can't it be a black Gua? Why is it gonna be white? Uh, blah 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 Wise woman. Good look guns. Solomon 2. The wise woman dreams vision of white Gua. Alright, I don't care about you damn white Gua. Uh, speak blah blah blah. Man. We... Okay, I think it's... Yes. I shall be Nerevar of all the tribes and order to of all the great houses. I shall eat the sin of the unborn house and free the false gods. I must defeat the sixth house and dig other... That is clear enough. I must free the tribunal from their guts. I think that means free them from their use of Kagranax profane tools. Lovely. So what about Hortator? You must go before the councils of the Great Houses and satisfy them, for only the councils of the Great Houses can name you Horde Tor. I do not know the settled people of the Great Houses and can offer you no council. So, there's... My mind's going completely blank. Completely bloody blank. Shit. I know the names of all three of the houses, and right now I can't remember a damn one of them. Man, my memory is shit. Uh... No, I can't, I can't remember them. But anyway, so there are three of them. Uh, so I guess we have to go to, like, their headquarters or whatever, or at least find someone important within that particular house. Oh, God, it's bugging me so much that I can't remember any of the damn names. Again, I do know them. I just... It's escaping me right now. So I guess we got to find important people within those houses or just, you know, the headquarters of the house themselves. I have no idea where to look for that. 
Um, I'm hoping maybe if we go to the wise woman here, she, I mean, it's not the same wise woman, but it's a wise woman, right? So maybe she can tell us like a little bit more about it, perhaps. It's all I can think to do, you know, for now. So uh, let's see what this bitch has to say. Is Hortator even an option? H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T- Nope. Well, shit. Well, shit. Well, how am I supp- Alright. Okay. Let's put a mock spell here. Now again, I stress, this is blind. I could just look this up. In the interest of being blind, I'm probably gonna have to cut out a shit ton of me getting lost and what have you. I'm gonna use my brain here and go to... I guess we'll start with Balmora, right? Just for a, just for a beginning. And we'll have a look around Balmora. I'll see if I can find anyone that might be related to one of the houses. Because I know each of the three houses basically rules over a city. So Balmora is like X house and Aldrun is another one and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we'll go with that. So I guess uh, I'll bring you back in in Balmora if and or when I find something. Or, you know, somewhere else entirely if I find nothing there. So for you, I'll be right back. For me, this will probably take like a fucking hour. Ah, here we go. Okay, so, I mean, the... What the... Play? Wait, hang on, what is this even called? The Southwood Corner Club in Barramora, and we can ask about the Great Houses from this random check. Sotilde. Uh, so... Where the hell was it? There it is. Great Houses. What do you know? Dunmore membership in a Great House is a matter of birth and marriage, but Imperial colonists may become retainers of a Great House or may be adopted into a Great House. Lady. This doesn't help me at all. Not at all. You suck. I mean... Maybe the bartender or Patrick about? Swayze here knows something? Can I not ask about a specific house? Because that would be very handy. My other idea is to go to Vivek since it's the biggest city. And... Maybe we can find out more about a great house there. Telvani? Is Telvani one of the houses? Did I just remember that? Was that an option? Did I see that and subconsciously... Well, not even subconsciously. Well, I guess sub... Yes! Telvani Tower. And Telvani... Vi it's not, is it? Is Telvani one? I don't remember... Why don't I remember the names of the houses? But the wizard's residence called a Telvani Tower. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, I don't think that's it. Son of a bitch. What, what do you know, cat lady? Eh... Uh, that's right, you're the thieves go chick. God diggity damn it, who the hell are you? That's it, Hlalu, that's one of them! You prick. Okay, so this is ruled over by Hlalu. Tell me about the house. Okay, so, maybe we'll learn how to befriend it this way, because it sounds like we need to befriend all three of them, I don't bloody know, man. What does becoming a hortator even mean? House Hlalu is one of the three dumb agree houses. Uh, tell me about the other ones, because I... Apparently, just can't remember the bloody names. Eh. Are you just saying the same thing? You sick. Alright, withholding on Vonnefell, Lalu has always been loyal to the Emperor, and the Emperor, Loyal Legion, Freedom, I don't care about any of this shit. Uh huh, yes. Hopes to live in peace and harmony with the other races, and shit. Yeah, alright, how do I join it, man? How do I join it? I'm gonna join it. See, I can't help but feel they've made this fair, like, couldn't they have even, maybe they did give me, like, a starting point and I just wasn't paying enough attention, but I really, oh, here we go, Red Aran, it is Telvani. Oh, thank God, alright, Red Aran. Maybe, maybe we'll learn, uh, sort of where to go for Red Aran or something. I see no city mentioning what he's saying here. You prick. What do you know about Telvani? Bloody blah, bloody blah, 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 Alright, son of a bitch. Um, let's go in the journal real quick. Shit up. What if I go to, like, H? Uh, is it gonna give me, like, houses? Houses. Oh, well, Hlalu, okay. Maybe we can get some more information from this, like, if I go to Hlalu Compound, because apparently we found that or heard about it, I guess? We know nothing. Well, that's lovely. Alright. H. Hlalu Hortator. Nothing as well. 
This is going swimmingly. What about counselors? We know nothing about that. Delightful. All right. <laughs> Help me. Uh, eh. All right, well, this is a big old bus. So uh, once again, I'll bring you in when I find something out. Because right now, who likes short shots? Anytime. We like short shots. They like short shots. But yeah, I'll be right back. Aha! All right. Progress is being made, I think. See, I don't know if we're supposed to join the houses or if we're just supposed to become the Hortator. Because I was led to believe, again from the wonderful commenters, that apparently you can only join one house. Maybe I'm high as shit, but I thought that was the case. Either way, he says to join Klaus House Hlalu, uh, speak with Nileno Dorvain at the Klaus, wait, the House Hlalu Council Manor. Where the fuck is that? Is that in this place? There is a manor here, actually. I remember finding it. I thought it was like here somewhere. Oh. Wait, that says Hlalu. Wait a minute, have I been reading it wrong the entire time and no one told me? No, that is a U. See, that that also says U at the end. Wait, so there's, there's a Hlalo? Hlal... What? Did they just spell it wrong? Maybe that's a typo. We'll get, we're gonna go check over there. We're near it anyways. Piss off, man! I don't care if you're a sleeper. Fucking go sleep then! Jesus! Alright, so we're gonna check up here. And we'll, uh... Hi. You look stupid. Alright, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna run away. God damn it. You also look stupid. You have a torch and it ain't even dark yet. Wait a minute. So it's like on the west. Or on the left to the west. Quite a ways. So it's like right here. It's locked. Of course it is. Because, God forbid, the motherfucker will be open. Who the fuck are you, Stargell? You're a new face. No, see, here's the problem, motherfucker. I'm a new face. I've been around here for... I don't know how long in game, but... Let's say at least weeks. Probably months. Maybe even a year or more. I don't know. I'm also the Nerevarine. The rebirth, you know, uh, reincarnation of the baddest motherfucker to walk the face of the planet. How dare you call me a new place? What's this little secret? Have you heard of this new secret cult of the sixth house? They say they sit around in caves, cutting off pieces of their own flesh and eating it. That's disgusting, sir. It's that corpus disease. Makes the flesh grow wild and crazy. I know I had it. Cut a piece off and another piece grows back. Bigger and better, God say. We're looking into it. Right. That makes me feel better. Well, that's delightful, sir. I'm going to break in here. So if you could just piss off. Piss off. Stop looking at me. I'll fucking kill you. Alright, be like that. Let's save. Let's break in here. The guards also looking at me. This is gonna go well. This is gonna go well. Alright, unlock the 100. I'll kill all of you. Don't make me do it. I'll do it. I will do it. Alright. He seems to have looked the other way. So. Are any of you called, like, Dave Dorindathil? Apparently you're dead as hell. Look, I didn't do it, right? I didn't do it. Why are you dead? Who killed you? Is this even the right house? I'll take your amulet. Tell what I want to do. You ain't gonna need it anymore. You're dead anyway. You little punk ass bitch. Balmora. Do, what, do I? You martyr them. I mean, you prob. Do all the women in Morrowind like have such ample breasts, or are you the first? Because I've only just noticed it. You're quite well endowed, lady. It's just terrible! What happened? Raylan Tlalo employed me for years. What will I do now? Yes, I was one of Raylan's servants. I saw the Dunma who killed him with my own eyes. I can give you the murderer's description. We found a murder mystery. All right. The Dunma who murdered Raylan was young with red hair and a tall row over his head, as is fashionable these days. So he's got a mohawk. He wore bone mold armor and wielded a Dreamer War Axe. I do not know more than that. I'm sorry. I wish you luck. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm, quite so. Alright, thank you. So, if we find a red mohawk totem motherfucker in Dunma, we kick his ass and chew bubblegum 
Pub blah, blah, blah. Bubble gum. Except we're all out of gum. Exactly. Exactly. Can I rest in this bed? Yes, I can. May as well, you know, not have a good... Oh, God. Okay. All right. Okay. Remember, after this happens, Jason, something will attack you. The last two times, it's quite literally nearly killed you with a heart attack. So, just be prepared for it this time. Where are you? There you are. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Your face looks kind of messed up. And now so does the rest of you, because you have been spanked. Okay. You have nothing I want. Alright, that worked out quite nicely. Well, alright then. Uh, you still here? Yeah. I'm going to shut you in there, because I don't think you're smart enough to get your way out of there. We should hide the body. This place is very uh, neatly kept, considering the murder took place here. There's not even a puddle of blood or a puddle of mud. They had some good songs, Puddle of Mud. All right, so murder mystery, bone mold wherein, Dunma with a mohawk. You have a mohawk? Actually, no, you don't. You got like some samurai shit going on. I right, so I guess that wasn't the place. Where the bloody hell is the... I don't... Oh, it's over there. Oh, well, alright then. Um, well, this is here. This one? Alright, we found it, everyone. We found it. So don't forget, we're looking for a murderer. Is it you? Nope. Is it you? Wow, you're tall as hell. Look at that! Look at that! I feel like a dwarf! You talk too much, Outlander. I didn't say anything! You talk too much! I literally just stared at you. Like this. See, he knows... Alright, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Everyone's fucking dead. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. You're dead. Come out. No, I'm gonna kill every damn one of you. Every damn diggity one of you. No, don't talk too much! You got paralysis? No, 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 no! Hang on. I'm on a murdering spree. If you could not kill me, I'd really appreciate it. Can I just give myself, like, a thousand of these big old, big old potions? Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure this guy's the one paralyzing me. I don't know why I said paralyzing so strange. My brain wanted to say par paralysising me. But that was stupid, so my brain was like, No, quickly, change it, Jason. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be rude. Maybe that's what we shouldn't do. Hmm? Does anyone else want some? You want some too? Come on, let's shit out of everyone here. Purr. Yeah, I'll kill you as well, you son of a bitch. Red mohawk, I thought so. I know that's not a mohawk. I'm being facetious. Anyone else? Anyone else? You're a chair. I was going to kill you, and then I realized you were an, anim an, an, an inanimate object, which for some reason, saying an in is really hard for my brain. An inanimate object. An inanimate object. An inanimate object. Try doing that like 10 times fast. It ain't that easy. Of course you'll all do it and then be like, I did it, Jason. What? Well, Good for you. Whatever you're looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for. In fact, I'm looking for you. I am Dave. I keep business going here in Balmora while Dave are away, which is most of the time. You right? You right? Business. Mmm. That being it. Gotta take care of that. That, that being it. Mm, that, that being it. All right, if you want to talk a Bean. You've come to the right place. Do you want to join House Halalu? I mean, I guess. I don't. Hang on. I see nothing here about becoming a motherfucking hortator. What does the game want from me? See, I don't think this is it. I think joining the house is something different. Let me let me let me go look at the description here. Did I was this one of the things I saved a picture of on my phone? Let me check real quick, because I did save something. It might not have been this though. There are some other pictures on my phone. Uh, not for your eyes. We'll put it that way. I okay. I got a couple of things here. I know. I just saved the stuff about the uh, the camps, which we weren't really having a problem with. This whole hoarder tour thing. Uh, not so much. Alright, so let me uh, double check to make sure we're not going to fuck something up by joining this real quick. And then I'll bring it back in. Alright. So you're going to hate me, but I looked it up. And apparently, this is not at all the way we do it. I had a feeling that wasn't the case. So uh, apparently, and 
I'm only gonna look up where to actually start doing this shit. I'm hoping once we have started it, we'll be able to do the rest on our own. So apparently to actually start to become a horde tour, at least for this house, we have to meet with uh, some motherfucker. Nay See, I don't know how you're supposed to know this. That's what gets me. Like, I don't need, you know, map markers and just tons of direction to get on in a video game, but some direction? Is it just going, hey bitch, become hoarder tour? Like, okay, what does that mean? How do I do it? Who would I speak to? Where do I go? Nah, I'm not gonna tell you that shit. I mean, maybe there's, here's the thing, there's probably people we could talk to that would give us such information. Who they are, I don't know, because remember, when we picked up this trial, because this is our fourth trial, don't forget, to become whatever the fuck we're doing, uh, when we picked up the trial, we asked everything. We went through all of the blue text. I do not remember any point her saying, or maybe it was uh, the Ashcon, whoever the hell it was. I don't at any point remember them saying where to actually do this shit. They're just like, yeah, become a hoarder tour. Oh, okay. So anyway, let me get to the point. Apparently, uh, for, again, this house specifically, it's set, you know, let me, let me actually click on it. It says, meet with Cressius Curio in the Curio Manor in the Vivek Lalu Plaza. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go to the Vivek Lalu Plaza, find Curio's Manor, speak with that motherfucker. And then from there, I'm hoping we can figure the rest out on our own. So uh, I'll see you in Vivek. Okay, welcome back. So in case you can tell, we're in Vivek and we're flying over it because we are goddamn Superman. Well, Neo. Neo is probably a better uh, a better example because, you know, if you actually pay attention to the story of the Matrix, Neo is essentially Jesus reborn. Hence, you know, the flying and the walking on water and dodging bullets and feeding 5,000 with fish. Don't pretend like you didn't do all that because we all know he did. That was just in the kind of content on the extras on the DVD. So, in any case... Uh, we're in the Hlalu district now, I do, do believe. Or at least, apparently, we are close to it. There you go, Hlalu. So, here is my question. Okay, here's the plaza. I was gonna say, how do we get to the plaza? Never mind, we figured it out. Mana? Nope. General goods? Nah, grow Shagramph. Shag is British term for sex. Your name's funny. No name club. Well, we gotta go in here. It's far too prestigious to have a name. Looks like a shithole. Look at that broom. It's looking at me. It's gonna start dancing around the second, like in uh, Fantasia, which I've never seen, by the way, and I probably should. You are fucking everywhere. Who are you? You're in every bar. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who is she? Who are you? I don't understand. It's freaking me the fuck out, man. Anyway, uh... I guess we don't even need to be in here. Uh, who are you? Go on, Pilgrim. I can't stop you. Howdy, Pilgrim. Howdy, partner. Someone's been poisoning... Poisoning... I can't say words. Poisoning the watering hole. There's a snake in my boots. Reach for the sky. Weaponsmith. <laughs> but you don't have anything good enough for me. <laughs> I thought for a second you were naked. I don't know why. I think it's just your clothes from a distance. Just out of the corner of my eye. You looked, uh... You look naked. That's gotta be it, right? That's why it's a guard. Yep. You can't take me, you stupid son of a bitch. Also, oh, I'm not wearing your armor. But I bet if I was, you'd attack me. See, I'm tempted just to mock him. Because, uh, his armor is definitely very good. For medium armor. Sure, fuck it, let's mark him. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll just pay the bounty, I don't really care. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this on to, uh, entice him to attack me. Boop! And... Boop! It might not be illegal if he, uh, If he does it. Yo, look, I killed one of your kind! Do you wanna butt heads? Hmm? <laughs> I walk like a fucking idiot. Uh, let's try going in somewhere and coming back out. Maybe that's how we get him to aggro? Or maybe... He's just, uh, a passive little... Bitch, aren't you? You're a bitch. Maybe I have to speak to him. Where did you get that? The armor you wear is sacred to our order. You shall be punished with blood. Yeah, you're damn right. Your blood. And by punished, you mean rewarded with your armor. Covered in your blood. Yeah. 
You keep backing up and shooting shit at me. That's gonna work out real well for you, ain't it, champ? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You suck my... Aww. Uh, ow. All right, no. You're about to club me. I actually might die here. Oh, that's good, sick. Uh, let's go, go back to the potions. I was about to be your boss swarm like, Yo, you're sucking my huevos, but no. There he goes. Beating the shit out of me. Woo! 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 I don't want any trouble from the rest of you punks. There you go, alright. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Okay. So, um, do we have space for this? Not particularly, no. Uh, what are we wearing? We're wearing the speedy boots, but we also do have indirect boots. Let's put down our orcish helm. Let's put down the Jericho shield, even though it's beautiful. Let's put down the, um, the orcish... I hate orcish something else. Oh, I guess that's it. Into our left bordron. Boop. Gauntlet. Oh, we don't need the gauntlets because we're wearing the uh, the badass ones that boost our stats. So we want the pauldrons. I guess the chest piece. The cuirass, if you will. What is the cuirass that we're wearing? Yep, shite. That's what it is. Shite. Do you have any leg armor? Where's your leg armor? You just wearing pants? Do you have no damn indoor leg armor? Oh, come on, man. You silly punk ass bitch. Alright, fine, let's put it on. Yeah. Where's Oh, that's right, we're wearing that. Uh 93. Is this like 105? They're all like 105, which is a little strange. Sure, we'll keep that. It's expensive. Um Pauldron. I think we're wearing orcish pauldrons, yes. We so we can drop those, because they're not worth much at all. Alright, looks good to me, man. Looks good to me. Look at that shit, we look ballin' as hell. Ballin' as hell. We do look pretty cool in my opinion. I like this armor. Hello! Don't mind me, just going in this manner. Gonna save. Wait a minute, I feel very slow. Yeah, you broke my boots. <sighs> Why are you gonna do it, man? Why are you gonna do it? Why are you gonna do it? I just use the repair prongs, tongs, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you don't miss repair everything, I guess. Actually, no. We may as well not. Let's go to the weaponsmith, who is, um... Let's put the boots on first. I need to do, uh, resist magic. Magic! yo -da! Then we'll put on the boots that were made from walking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Weaponsmith. Weaponsmith. Here we go. So I just want you to repair my stuff. Ignore the fact that I murdered someone! I... I'm sorry. Ah, I don't care, I ain't sorry. I'll kill you too. I don't even care, man. I don't even care. I'll kill every damn god in this godforsaken shithole of a rat infested city. I'll kill you. Kill every damn one of you. Alright, let's do some business. That beard. Alright, repair. You know. Thank you, sir. I have enjoyed our transaction. Good day to you. Alright, so let's go in the manor now, shall we? There might be more of these fuckers in the manor, and if so, they will also get marked. I give no craps. No craps at all. Let's save before we go in. And then we go! Alright, no guards attacking me yet. What we're even doing in here? That's right, we're supposed to look for the dude who owns the manor, which is probably he. It's not you. You talk too much, Outlander. Don't make me do it! I'll do it! Look at your eyebrows! You pluck those things! That's girly. You're a man. Alright, act like one. Little punk. Hello. What, why do you disturb me? I don't know why I disturb you. Ah, I'm stuck in everything. Move. 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 Stupid door. Look at this. Oh god, if this was Skyrim, I'd Fusrodar the whole room. Oh, and this table. Oh, I've never wanted Fusrodar so much in my life. Alright, let's start checking down here. You, I already spoke to you. Well, kind of spoke to you. This is just me. Did that look like a cactus for a second? Like, does this wicker basket look like a cactus? From a distance, if you, if you like, really squint, it looks like a cactus. It's not just me, right? Hello. Hello. You're also not the person who owns the manor. There you are. Crassius Curio. A.K.A. Chaos Cossades. I know you're in disguise. Take off that wick. And take off that shirt, because you never wear a shirt, Caius. Come on, man. Who do you think you're fooling? Yes, I'm Caius Cassades, but you can call me Uncle. All right, then. It's getting a little weird. Do you want me to sit on your knee? 
Or what's that in my back, Uncle? Oh, it's just a rocket in my pocket. No, Uncle, no. Ah, yes, that is my name, but it sounds like music when you say it. You smooth son of a bitch. All right, tell me about uh, Hortador. A Hortador is a great house war leader. It's an ancient tradition, seldom invoked in modern times. How... Let's tell the story. You want to be Hortador? A pity. Orvas does not want you to be Hortador, and very few counselors would be willing to risk Sir Drain's disapproval. But if you were to give me a small gift of a thousand drakes, I might consider it. Sure, man, why the hell not? What a delightful gift. How did you know? Gerald! Gerald! It's just what I wanted, and now it's time for your gift. I have just what you want in my full... I'm taking my shirt off right now, just so you know. I'm lifting it up, but I don't have a camera on, so you can't see. You don't want to see. I don't have a great chest. In my formal capacity as counselor of House La Lu, I give you my vote for the title of Horde Tour. Perhaps I can also give you a little suggestion. It would be handy. Yeah, like how the fuck do I get uh, to be Horde Tour of the other two houses? I am sure you can persuade Drambero to support you as Horde Tour if you can find him. Orvestren has Nivena, Ulus, and Dave in his pocket. You might want to make a little trip to the Dren plantation before talking to them and then there's Ingling half troll yo Caius in disguise am I hortator of this house or not or do I have to get them to also agree to it because that seems to be what you're suggesting if so why do I give you money bitch why do I give you money look at the candle look at it it's right behind his shoulder if you look and you know like the cactus squint it looks like he's wearing a candle Alright, um, tell me about Bram Stoker and this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. Alright, fine. So, alright, hang on. What do you want me to do? Uh, if you can find him. Okay, so I need to... Wait a minute. Sweet him to support you if you can find him. This guy always has these two in his pocket. You might want to make a little trip to the Dren plantation before talking to them. And then there's this half troll guy. It's a friend like me. He simply doesn't understand the dumber like I do. If you were to disguise, dispose of him, you want me to kill him? I could do that. Uh, the other counselors would not be upset. If you kill any of the rest of us, of course, it is a different story. He lives in Yingling Manor in the St. Orms Canton. Oh my god. Time to get out the phone, isn't it? To take some photos of this shit, because I ain't writing this down. Alright, let's get, get out of here, Charger. Jesus Christ. Alright, one second. We're going to photograph this. Look at this photograph. It's a song by Nick Beck. Alright, we're take, taking a picture of that. Did I... I think I moved my hand as it was happening, so it's probably all blurry. Fuck it. Alright, so, uh... What about Bram Stoker? Uh, we can kind of fit, like, all three of these on here at the same time. So let's take a picture of this as well. It's just, oh, God, I'm hitting the mic. Good work, Jason. It's good enough. And then we need one more photo for this prick. Well, actually, these two pricks. Hang on, no, I need, you. I need your whole name. And then... Boop! See, how quick was that compared to running that shit down? All right, so let's start from the beginning here. This is going to take a while, you can tell. Uh, we need to speak to... Oh, I didn't even fit in the picture properly. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, hang on, buddy. Hang on, we gotta do this again. Actually, I guess it was just the half troll man. Hang on. Yeah, okay, okay. So, the stuff from the beginning, which is. Bram Stoker. Very secretive if he lives somewhere here in Vivek. Dude, I'm gonna need more on that man. I... Maybe he knows more? Can I, can I give him, like, some money? Nah, do you know more about him? No. Come on! I guess maybe I can ask other people. All right, we're going to have to ignore that guy for now because he doesn't know where he is. All right, what about Orvest Drain? He's the head of the Kimona Tong and lives in a plantation in the Ascadian Isles. The Ascadian Isles? You may be able to bribe him or trick him. He despises the Empire, and I've heard rumor that he has made some kind of deal with the Sixth House. Dude, where the fuck are all these people? Am I the hoarder tour of this place or not? Because I don't want to go speak to all these motherfuckers. i got to ask you with you already don't. First, if that go to answer, he's going to give me his vote for Horde Tour of House La Lu. Yeah. It's just a vote. So. What? How? What do I? 
Son of a bitch. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I was just checking this walkthrough that I looked up in the first place to even find out where to speak to this guy. Look, I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you. Yes, this is a blind let's play. I give no shits right now. I am not going to wander around for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end trying to find people that nobody even knows where the fuck motherfuckers live. We need to speak to like six people here just to get the house... This this one house of three to name a sort of tour. Like six fucking people. And they were spread out across the face of the planet Earth. So, screw it. I just gotta look up where they are. I'm gonna go do it. I don't even care. I don't even care. Alright, so, the half troll is in Vivex and Olmos Plaza. Boom, I'll see you there. Let's go. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. We're in this Vivex St. Olmos Plaza. So, we're looking at this half troll man. Again! Oh, come on, man! Uh, again, I'm not going to uh, look up specifically where he is here. I'm happy to find him within this section. Just as long as I know which section he's in, so we're not just wasting our goddamn time. You have to understand. I only have so much time, right? You know? I'm a busy man, I've got shit to do. I gotta go to sleep in like an hour, so, holy crap. Again, this is like six people I gotta find with very little direction for this part of the quest. This part of the quest, we're just flat out gonna look up where the fuck we go. I'm sorry if you hate that, but, gotta do what you gotta do. Wait a minute, Haunted Manor? Don't mind if I do. Let's check this out. I also do want to uh, solve that murder mystery at some point. At some point, we will do that. This is bright as balls. This is very strange. I mean, I know we have the uh, the light spell on, but like, damn. What is that? What, what, what are you? Ooh, lockpicks. Journeyman's. Journeyman's. All right. So apparently it's haunted. Haunted mana, lock level 50. All right. Sure, I'll play your game. Uh, I would imagine it's probably part of the quest or something, but we don't have the quest, so let's just go in here. Fail the... Oh, my God. Okay, it works. Thank you. I was about to have to bust down that lockpick. Oh, look at the broom. It's moving around on its own. It's spooky. If I could actually click and drag things like I can Oblivion Skyrim, I totally would. Hello. Don't stand about. Guarding the bold. I mean, you could be a ghost. But right now, I'm mostly just seeing a half-naked man. What do you want? Uh, Do you know Drambero? He's your boss. You want to talk business? Talk to him. He's your boss? But I came to the section looking for the half troll guy. Have some money. What do you know about him now? Uh. Oh, okay. Okay then. Ah. Do you want some? Apparently, we accidentally found Dram Barrow. I am okay with this. Hello, I can take. Wait, I take precautions to ensure that I'm not found easily. I see I will have to take more precautions, but what do I do for you? Oh, you're the guy that was, uh... Oh, uh, where the dude says he's very secretive. Okay, this works. Um, name me Hortator, please. He... Here we go. Uh, ask how Hortator did I'll just tell you a story. You have found me, and that means you are resourceful. Yes, oh, I, I'm, frankly, I'm just lucky. I'll vote for you as Hortator, but my vote alone means nothing... Yingling is a fool. You may bribe him or kill him. Uh, Crassius Curio is a man of passion and can be manipulated. Already did that. But uh, Valanda and Nivina are Orves Dren's creatures. And they will do nothing without his approval. Alright, hold on. What have those two got to do with all this? Do I need to get their votes? He's the brother of Duke... Vadam Dren and a very wealthy and influential man. He has a niche ranch in the Ascadian Isles. Or Ascadian? Yeah, probably Ascadian. Alright. Uh so you did name me order tool? I don't get paid to answer questions. Alright, fair enough. Um Okay then. I mean, I gotta be honest, no, it doesn't I seem I think your name is mentioned. Let me check the pictures that I took on my phone. Ha ha. One second. If I can get the bloody thing up. Right, so. Um, let's start from the beginning here. We've got Yingling Half Troll. Dran Barrow, the guy we just persuaded. Orvas Dren. And Nivina Ulz. And Velanda Omani. You are none of them. Alright. 
I don't know why your name looks familiar. Like it really does. Oh, this is Vivek. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. What do you know about this guy that we've already spoke to? There's a splendid mansion in the plaza atop the Halalu Canton here in Vivek. Ooh, delightful. Can you name me, uh, Auditor? Nope, because you're not associated with the quest. Fair enough, then. I gotta be honest, this man doesn't seem to be haunted at all. Is that just me? Maybe they call it a haunted manor so that, you know, he's secretive, right? So maybe people are like, oh, it's haunted, I'm not gonna go in. Whereas, let's be honest here, in real life, most people are get, like me are gonna be completely opposite, like it's haunted. Gonna check that shit out. Uh, so, I'm disappointed it ain't haunted, but at least we found one of the people we were looking for without looking it up. That right there, that's a Brucey bonus. Uh, yeah. Temple? I mean, the the young Yingling, or whatever his name is. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know where he lives, but uh, probably in his manor. That would make the most sense. Now, weren't we just supposed to muck this fool? You're tiny, fool gore. Be important, Dunmer. The one ring Frodo. Don't tempt me, Frodo. You shall not pass. Star, you know what I mean, Star. Fuck off, that's a stupid name. Oh my. God, you look hideous. Excuse me. Excuse me. Basement log level 85. 85, get out of the way! You black man! You risk your neck. Oh, we found him. Teach you some yeah. Someone should, bitch. How about you make it you? Alright, let me just make sure that I'm supposed to kill this man. Uh, simply doesn't understand the dumber like I do if you would dispose of him. Uh, okay. So, we are meant to muck him. We have the option not to, I would guess. So let's save. I think I already did, but let's do it again. Favor me with your question, Pilgrim. Do you need me to point out some specific place? I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you? Alright, no. No, 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 no. Name me Hordator, or I'll kill you. That's a touching story, but if you don't have 2,000 drakes, you won't get my votes. Stall for time. Go ahead, take your time. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, here you are. Ready for death! You will die where you stand. You will die where you stand. Guess what? No, no I won't. No I won't. I'm gonna kill every damn one of you. I don't even give a shit. I'm gonna kill every damn one of you. Oh god, it's so cathartic. Oh, star. Mm. Looks like you fell. Because you're a fallen star. Yeah, uh -huh. What do you have? A steel longsword. What are you wielding? Oh, the, oh, that's star wielding that. I knew that. It's a uh, foe burner. Right. I mean, it looks... Is this unique? What's it worth? Not much. You have a key. Oh, to the basement. Good, so I don't have to pick it. Heart wall. Why does your gear have unique names? Interesting. Uh, can we carry that? Yeah, we can. Can we carry your chest plate? Where is the... 24 weight? Jesus Christ, man. No. It's shiny, though. Why is it shiny? Surely that means it's enchanted, right? Oh, it is. I completely ignored that. Resist magic. Pfft. Yeah, it's just, it's like usable, so it's not uh, passive. Oh, he's got a glass weapon. A jink blade. Lovely. Alright, we already got the basement key. We don't need that. Uh, let's check out the other fools, I guess. And you know they are fools. Don't even don't even question it. Uh, can I not examine the little fella? There you go. Little fella. Dire flame blade. Yeah, it does do fire damage. Didn't do, didn't do anything for you, though, did it? Guess what? I'm immune to fire damage. So, probably not the best enchantment you could have really had on your weapon. But, you know, uh, you do what you do. And what you do is stupid. That's a delightful hanging rug you have there. So, what's down in the basement here? Uh, a bunch of rats in a cage. Alright. Control, are they, uh, like, are they your pets? I mean, they could be. Well, those had a different name. Hang on. Oh, blighted. Oh, game rats. So they're for killing? That's what game is, right? Like, you, you hunt it. That's a little strange. 
Yingling's Ledger. Let's read this. This is a ledger showing how Yingling half-troll misdirected funds he was supposed to spend on restoring the temple in the Red Orang compound in Vivek. Oh, that's all it says. Alright, Yingling's letter. Sir Yingling. Okay, it's not too long. I must admit that I was surprised by your request for funds to repair the house Halalu Temple in Vivek. Before our meeting last week, I knew only that you were an outlander and not a member of our temple. Once again, I ask that you forgive an old man for heeding to false rumors. Now that I have met you, uh, excuse me, I am sure that your motives are pure and you can restore the temple to its former glory. House Lalu has neglected its temple in Vivek for many years and is in a state of dis 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 disrepair. My brain really wanted to say disrespect. Given the difficulty of this restoration, I would be pleased to contribute 50,000 50, drinks to your efforts. Arch Cannon Sayuni. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. So he's, uh. You know, he's. He's peddling the money. You know, he's he's uh he's waxing the dolphin. That's not what it means at all. I'm pretty sure that's that means masturbation. Well anyway, uh wait, was there anything in here? Well, besides dead rats are you definitely dead? Okay, you're definitely dead. Besides dead rats, no. No, there is not. This place sucks. Alright, so that's uh what? A bunch of them down. So um let me have a look real quick. And uh, the pictures of the text that I saved, and we'll have a look and see if uh, if we can find the other ones without having to look it up, because I don't want to have to do that. But you know, sometimes the game is a bit of a dick. Uh, so we found the secret of man. Uh, okay, this other guy. He's the head of the Kimona Tong, and lives in a plantation in the Ascadian Ascadian Isles. Hmm. He's the head of the Kimona Tong and lives in a plantation in the Ascadian Isles. Do we know where the Ascadian Isles are? I don't think we do. I apologize, you can probably hear me putting my phone down every time, because that's what I'm looking this shit up on. Um, Ascadian Isles. See, here's the thing. And I have mentioned this before, but just for anyone who doesn't know. Apparently, uh, when Morrowind originally came out, you got like a fold-out map with it. So, we should have a map that is better than the in-game map. Yes, in my opinion, that's fucking stupid. Uh, you know, you, I would like at least the in-game map to be as good. So, it's quite possible, for example, on this fold-out map, it's, it tells you where the Escadian Isles are. So, I'm going to look up said map, see if I can find a picture of it, or at least, you know, a more accurate one than we have here, and we'll see if we can figure out where the Escadian Isles are. So, Morrowind, a world map. There you go. And we'll go to Images. And then, I know you can't see this, but you really don't need to. If we, if, if, if it could load, there you go. Oh, man. All right, so there's the West Gash. <laughs> it's really not that funny. Uh, the Ashlands, Red Mountain, the Grayslands, Balmora is by the bit of coast. Oh, the Escadian Isles apparently are south. Actually, just south of Vivek. Hmm. See, I don't know exactly where the Isles begin and end. Could just be like everything. Oh my god, this motherfucker could be on like... Alright, let me show you. Uh, basically, on the map that I'm looking at, it says in text right across here, Ascadian Isles. Like right across where I'm dragging my mouse. Uh, I mean... Jeez, man, I don't know. So it could be like any of these little islands. We'll go have a look. You know, we, we will play it legit and we'll go check around the Ascadian Isles. So uh, I'm going to need a second here to get over there. So I'll bring you back in. Yo, what up? I'm back. So this is around about the Ascadian Isles. He did say uh, he, she, whoever the bowlers we were talking to did mention a plantation. Uh, so we'll see if we can find something around here that looks like a plantation. I mean, that could be it. It could be like a mushroom plantation. I don't know. Why are you glowing? Why, why are you glowing? Are you important? Not at all. Alright then. Now I'll see you over there, Cliff Racer. I'll see you. What's up with this boat? There's a mud crab there. Disgusting creatures. Come here, buddy. It's clobbering time. My mace has got a name on it. Marked for death and it is your name. That don't make no damn sense, but just roll with it. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, so what up with this boat? Is it a plantation boat? This I somehow doubt. Uncharted shipwreck. You think they would have charted it by now? I mean, it's been sitting here for a while. It's a skeleton. Oh, God. Or a skeleton. Ow. You know what we haven't done in a while? Burn some shit. Wow. I did not expect to one-shot you. I remind you, we have the difficulty on Max. 
Uh, I mean, it's just a basic skeleton, I guess. Basic bitch. Low quality chest. I'll be the judge of that. No, it's definitely low quality. In fact, lower than low, I would say. It's, it's garbo quality. Garbo. Garbo means garbage. Which means bad. Trash tier, if you will. Oh, fuck it. You know what? You can have a fireball, and 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 everyone can have a fireball. Wait, is there no more? Well, I guess this is the lower, the lower deck. So there's a bunch of pillows, a bunch of shitty shirts, some skooma. That's probably the reward, I guess. Like, you know, it's a grand's worth of stuff. If you come here early on in the game, which theoretically you could do, uh, there's a grand's worth of stuff and a bunch of arrows. Well, there's another two grand. Uh, yeah, another grand there, another grand there. I see, I don't need this shit. Uh, wait, what does it do, actually? It might, oh my god. It might be good. It might be worth, you know, getting high on that. So it makes you faster and stronger. Drains your agility. Yeah, sure, you know what? We'll take Skooma. And uh, if we need to be strong and quick, well, we'll get high. That will be what we do. So this wasn't a completely pointless uh, trip to a big old boat. There you go. Don't know what up with the pillows, but uh, who am I to question it? Can I, can I, like, get around here? Can I not fit? Really? Okay, there's 100 gold in a sack. You know, like, 250 golds worth of arrows there. We found out at 250 earlier, so... Again, if you come here early in the game, I can understand that this is a decent reward. It's still not that great, but... It's decent. It's not exactly well got. You know, like, one skeleton, a couple of, uh... One shitty skeleton and a couple of rats. You know, I... I oh, my fuck. Yes, of all things, that scared me. Mostly because he was vibrating like hell and apparently appeared out of nowhere. I see you. I see you. You ain't a rock. You ain't a rock. You ain't a rock. You ain't a fish. You ain't a man. Alright, so, plantation. Plantation. That's back... Wait, what? That's a... There ain't no temple. If you look where I'm looking, I mean, I guess it's that that I'm looking at. So it could be over there. It could be over here. Uh, save again. That's gonna levitate. And let's go! I guess we could use water walking as well. I kind of prefer levitate just because we're not on the ground, I suppose. Makes sense to me. Look at it, it's floating. It's floating. Hello, Cliff Racer. Just want some attention, don't you? Yes, I know, I know. Can I not hit you? What the hell? Um. Uh, um. Excuse me? He's not hitting me either. All right. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm not even gonna argue about it. Fair enough. The big temple. It's, this ain't no temple, man. It's like a freaking jungle out here. I was regent. Well, yeah, good. I mean, that's what we're looking for. I don't care about that clam. So, a plantation around here, eh? Oh my god, you are terrifying. A plantation. See, like, what kind of plantation are they talking about? Are we talking, like, is he growing dope? Or is it just regular trees? Is it wheat or something like that? I don't know. Is this also considered uh, part of the Escadian Isles region? I also don't know. Novakin, Novakin, another something, something. Oh, I parkour. No, 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 Alright, fuck it. Uh, I guess that's not what we're looking for. You mugged that fool, didn't you? I guess it was chasing me. That's how little I cared. I didn't even realize. Yes, that's right. Uh, Jason's character, aka Jason McGrizzle, just gets stuck on absolutely bloody everything. Because why not? I, I don't... I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna try checking uh, like these ones out here. Because I don't... I don't know where to go, man. Oh. Look, there was a white gua, it was friendly. Why are you gonna be why are you gonna be like that? You could have been like the white gua. You could have been. I mean without being white, but you Am I not Levitan? Why am I not Levitan? Levitate, man, there you go. 
So, he's living on the Isles in the Escadian something region. He's got a plantation. I'm not finding any of this. I gotta be honest. I mean, this, this just looks like a barren wasteland over here. Wasteland! A couple of mud crabs. Up to no good, making trouble in the neighborhood. I mean, I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Something about a cab and... When it came near, the license place, plate said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this camp was rare, but I thought now, forget it, you're home to Bel Air. Um, like I'll be honest with you, this is kind of pissing me off because I don't know where this damn plantation is. I also need to sneeze, which, don't you hate that? Don't you hate that? When, the thing about sneezing, and you, you probably never noticed this, but if you think about it, right? When you sneeze, you just sneeze. If you ever get to the point where you feel like you need to sneeze, you're probably not going to. Sometimes, yes, it will still happen, but the majority of the time where you actually feel the sneeze coming, it never does. Never does. So there you go. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to make a cut here until I find uh, this fella, or the plantation, or something, because right now, it's a big old bust. I have found something. Is this the plantation? No, it's a manor. What the bloody hell? Look, look where I am. Like, where's this motherfucker's plantation? I don't... I don't... Let's have a look at the manor, I guess, because... Oh, don't start that shit. It just, whatever, man. Whoa. I could see into the clouds themselves. God, is that you? Yes, my son. You've done some evil shit. You're not coming up here. Oh, okay. Go on, say it. Go on. What now? All right, I'll let you off. He looks like a dude from Game of Thrones. Who anyone is specific? Oh, just like his his hair and his his beard thing and his grizzled looking face. What the hell am I stuck on? Big old question marks. Get me stuck, man. I don't know what that is. Excuse me, sir. Another door. Man, you people got a lot of big white question marks. The hell are you wearing? No, I don't. Yes, you look ridiculous. Hello, is this your manor? I'm guessing. Um, oh, I can ask you about Hortator. Wait, 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 wait. Are you supposed someone I was supposed to speak to? Did I accidentally find someone else as well? Hey, let me look this up. Uh, what's your name, Velandi? Oh, it totally is. Councillor, I'll read you it. Councillor Valandi Omani lives outside Vivek on Elmas Islands or Elmas. So I guess that's where we are. Uh, take the bridge to the mainland from. Oh my God! Directions. Take the bridge from the Telvani comp. Wait. Take the bridge to the mainland from Telvani compound. Then turn south and cross the bridge to Elmas Island. The path from the south of the bridge leads right to Oman. Okay. So apparently we found it. Uh, sure. I didn't mean to find you, but sure. I will tell you my story. This is a very interesting story you tell, and your moon and star is an impressive ring. Unfortunately, I'm very busy at present. I will need to uh, consult with my colleagues, but I'll give the manor every consideration. I need to cough one second. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, what? I will need to consult with my colleagues, but I'll give the manor every consideration. Were you the one that they said uh, had like a couple of people walking under them or something? I don't think you were. Um. Hang on. Son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know who it was. Alright, well, either way, we've spoken to her. We might have to wait like three days in game or something. I should say even, I should speaking to her again straight away. Maybe she's like, alright, I thought about it, and uh, sure, you can become a hoarder tour. Hmm. Uh, maybe I need to ask how it's chosen. We'll try that. Uh, Horde Tour is a champion chosen in times of war. A Horde Tour's duty is to lead and inspire the Great Houses against its foes. Only a Great Houses counselor can vote for a Horde Tour, and the vote must be unanimous. Uh huh. So, frickin' votes. And since she did say unanimous, we do need to get all of them to agree. Busy? 
Uh, maybe there's something we can help her with? K Khajiit? Yes, I don't want to know about Khajiit, you idiot. Uh, your trade? I'm a noble of the Grey House, alright, don't care. Orvestrian, what do you know about him? He's a brother, okay, same thing we already know. Alright, um, uh, maybe we've done what we need to do? I really don't know. Why can I talk to you about Nerevreen? He's a heretic, shut up. Dickhole. Uh, what about you? Hmm. Okay, I don't see the Hordator option there. Uh, where have we haven't been? Haven't been here, okay. Hi. Oh, yeah. With that outfit, uh, you must be doing for a while for yourself. Can I help you? Well, actually, I am. Thank you for noticing. And I guess you can't. Okay. So, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing to, uh... Entice this bitch. I really don't know. That's a lovely storage room you have there. Okay, um... I guess I'm gonna keep checking around. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know where this plantation is. I really don't. I will keep checking around though, and I'll uh I mean at least we found that person. I can't believe how ridiculously lengthy and spread out these people are. To uh again, this is for one house. Kinda mind blowing when you think about it. Like I said, I'll bring you back in when I find something. Can you stop attacking me? I wanna be like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. Yo, one up, welcome back. I found something else. It actually does look like a plantation because there are, you know, actually things planted here. Please. It's a farmhouse. It's kind of like a plantation. It's probably not what we're looking for. Who the hell are you? I don't believe I see you. Oh, shut up. Uh, okay, can't ask you about the whole tutorial thing. We'll poke our heads in here and see what we can find. See, what I've been doing is just flying kind of high up and just trying to spot things of interest. I mean, we know it's around here somewhere. Unless I was lied to. Which, frankly, would surprise me. Wait a minute. Was that the whole house? I guess it could be if it's a, uh, a farmhouse. Well, I'll steal your money. Because, you know, why wouldn't I, right? Um. Yeah. I'll take this for my house. I guess this ain't what we're looking for. Well, uh, that sucks. I did see another building that looked, it might be that one, that looked almost exactly like it. Why am I trying to cast light? It's not what I'm looking for. Let's go up. What is that? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> almost certainly not what we're looking for. We'll have a look. But I really doubt this is it says Suran. Have we been here before? Well, no, it just got marked off on the map. Is this like another town or something? Uh, Constant Points. Glorious Constant Point. Very famous for orcs. Great hero Constant who had fought some battles. Or something died there. Very famous. Mm hmm. Orc. Of course, barbarians. Blah, blah, blah. Services. Blah, blah. Okay, then. I don't... I don't think I need to speak to you. There's a Soul Strider over there. How have we never been here before? Well, I mean, at least we have it marked off on the map. Still not what we're looking for, man. And this is the plantation's part of that, but I really doubt... I mean, look where we are now. We're like... I ain't even in freaking Vivek anymore, Toto. Like, I don't... I don't know what they want from me. So we'll see what this is. It does say we're in the Oz region. Please be the plantation. Please. It's totally not going to be. Please. What are you? It's another bloody manor. I know this name, Ulz. So maybe that's someone we were supposed to speak to. You know, I guess it would make sense if all these important people are in, you know, big manors and shit. Probably outside the city because they're too good to be in the city because they're snobby bastards. So maybe this is another person we're supposed to be, you know, talking to. Uh, or I may just know the name from somewhere else. Wasn't there someone called, like, Fathis Ulis? Or Ulis? Who the bloody hell are you? Uh, can't ask the Hordator option, so you're not important to our quest right now. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so you are an Ulis person. Oh, here we go. Okay, tell a story. 
I don't understand at all. What is this about stars and the prophecy? No, don't tell me again. I don't know why you want to be a hoarder at all. It's all very confusing. Maybe I should talk to the other counselors and my advisors. Ask how it's chosen. I don't know. Don't we already have a hoarder tour? If we don't, maybe we can find someone else. Yo. Bitch. Don't push me. Maybe I needed to persuade them. Maybe uh, maybe I should try that with the other chick. I'll try doing that and see if this works now. No. I'm going to give her more money because we have a lot. It's only a thousand. All right, 97. I mean, if that's not good enough, it's never going to be, right? Oh, come on. So I'm going to go back to the other person. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. Well, at least, at least it works, I guess. Ooh, I think that's some kind of war leader. Why are you interested? That's a very strange uh, story with all the stars and prophecies. I'm not sure I understand what you're asking. Maybe you should speak with one of the advisors. Orvestren, he owns a plantation in the Asgardian Isles. I know, but where is it? Can I ask you about the plantation? No? God damn it, man. Oh, I feel you gotta go to the other person. Oh, oh. Oh, that sucks. Ah. Uh. Alright, fuck. God, I got hiccups so bad. Um, hmm. Alright. I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. So, I'll, uh... I'm gonna really quickly go back to the other manor that we were at, because I think I can find it. I think it was... around there-ish. So, yeah, I'll be right back, and then, uh... We'll try and convince that person, again, with money. I can't believe I had to get it so high. And then, uh, then we'll carry on looking for this damn plantation. I want to get this house done before we end the episode, no matter how bloody long it goes. It's getting done. Okay. We're back at this useless bent. Okay. Now, persuasion, have money. Persuasion, have money. All right, 100. So, hoarder tour. Wait. 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 Why is it not an option now? Oh, okay, it is. Whew. All right, uh, story. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'll tell you about Miss Star is an impressive ring. I believe your story and credentials are genuine, but I will tell you frankly that I would not... I would never confirm you as sort of tour without the approval of Orvas Dren. I depend on his patronage. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is the plantation guy, right? Okay, so we're still looking at this motherfucker. All right, so. Everyone but him down, I think. So let's go find this bastard. Yo, welcome back. So we're over here, and I found a random man standing by a rock. Seems very suspicious to me, so let's see what he has to say, because I would imagine he's probably related to a quest. Good lord, got enough piercings there, buddy. Uh, if you know what's good for you, Dark Elf, you'll leave me alone and be on your way. Your journal has been updated. I met a traveler near Vivek. He looked like a traitor, but he was furious about something and refused to speak to me. Persuasion. Uh, have money. Have money. Alright, so he likes me a lot now. Listen up, if you really care, my former guards just ran off and stole all my goods, okay? Yes, a whole shipment of raw glass. If you can return my goods and kill those bastards who took them, uh, I'd be willing to teach you a couple of traders' secrets that could give you plenty of money in the future. My guards... Alva, Clarin, and Dondir probably haven't gone far. Stupid fetches are probably holed up somewhere near here. Counting my loot. Check to southeast. Check to the southeast. That's the direction they headed. Okay, sure. Southeast is this way. Alright, so, let's try and do this quest since we're in the middle of doing fucking nothing right now, because we can't find, you know, this damn plantation. So we'll fly over here. Let's fly up a little bit more, shall we, so we actually see and uh, maybe spot them from above. Might be a little too high now. Maybe, maybe a little too high. Ah. Oh. So you said they held up somewhere southeast. This uh, Daedric Ruin, which I have purposely ignored, is southeast. They're going to be in there, aren't they? They're gonna be held up in there. Just this, just the term "held up" means they're probably inside somewhere. I mean, you never know when they might be chilling outside. They might be by the ruins, but not in the ruins. The ruins themselves might be tiny, but it's probably like a whole big ordeal. And you never know; they might not even be in there. 
All right, let me have a look here. They are still in the area, perhaps hold up in a cave southeast of here. This isn't a cave. But it is southeast. Hmm. I'd say we poke our heads in. Uh, if it looks like they're probably not in there, we leave. That's the plan. The upper level. It's gonna be huge. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, like I say, we'll have a look. Oh. This could be damage. What the hell? You're being shot by a Daedric man. Whoa. Whoa there, buddy. Look, you ain't gonna beat me. You're shooting fire. I'm immune to it. Wait, are you attacking me now? Alright, let's get the line out, because even I can't see. Who are you? What are you? Is that an ebony shield? I don't think I've seen one of those so far. I'm purely guessing, just based on the color. But it's probably ebony. Dude, she's quite tough, man. And by quite tough, I mean she's kicking the shit out of me. Ha <laughs> ha! Boots are blinding speed! Yeah, give up, dear. Give up, or you're thirsty for more. That's Kevin McAllister. You're welcome, Walt. All right. Wait a minute. Did you say the names? You did, didn't you? Alva, Clearan, and Dondia. Uh, you are not one of them. It is an ebony shield, though. 30 pounds? I want that shield, man. Like, just for the collection, really. Because, again, we haven't seen one. Uh, maybe I can make space. No, no, 30 pounds is a lot. We could drink skooma. And escort it for now. Uh, I'm going to put it there. Just in case the body disappears. The shield will hopefully stay there. I don't think the body will disappear, though, unless I get rid of it. So it looks like they're not in here. I, I very much doubt it, considering that chick's just chilling there. And she's not, you know, any of them. I wanted, I kind of want to do this quest, because it seems like it might be easy enough to do. Southeast. I already kind of forget where this bastard was. Oh, could be in there, I guess? Hello, wild boar. Also, hello, you. Bashara? Could be in here? Is this even a cave? I don't know. Looks like a cave entrance. Yeah, it looks like a cave to me. Yeah, it's got to be them. No. Oh my god! Did you do all that damage to me? Or was I already, already missing HP? Holy shit! What are you wielding? Like, freaking Excalibur? Jeez. I mean, they could have people with them, right? So, just because this isn't them doesn't necessarily... You know, it could be part of a bigger gang, I guess. And this is a cave, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know you're trying to kill me. I know it's trapped. I don't even care. I don't even care. Reef, what do you do? Fortify strength. Boop. I think I changed it into something else. Changing it like Looney Tunes or something. Alright. Landy, is that you? Nope. Dude, where the bloody hell? I mean, these seem like bandits, right? And they're in a cave to the southeast. So, again, maybe they're friends of other said bandits. I mean, he said bodyguards, but they're clearly bandits, because they, they mugged him. It ain't you either. I ain't even gonna... Wait, maybe it is you. Treloth? No, Dondia. Man, I'm bad with names. Um... Yeah. You would imagine they're part of, like, a, a bandit racket. To be like, oh, we'll be your bodyguard, and then ha-ha! They turn on them. This place seems uh, quite large. Is it you? Nope. Oh, stuck on everything. Stuck in the middle with you. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm stuck in the middle with you. Clouds don't love me. Joke is still right here. I am stuck in the middle with you. This place is huge, man. It's huge. I know there's a path. Oh, fucking hell. You were friendly, weren't you? Yeah, I'm just gonna assume you weren't. But you are quite dead now. Don dear? Oh. Hey. <sighs> Where did I last save? Okay, so. Alright, I'm gonna re kill the people that we just killed, and I'm gonna try and speak to Don Deer, because that was him. That was one of them. We're in the right place. That's good. 
Uh, but I would imagine we can get some dialogue out of him. Uh, it's probably still going to end in his death, let's be honest here. But I am interested to see what he has to say. So, like I say, I'll kill uh, the people uh, back to him, and then I'll bring you back in. Oh, okay. Uh, now he's attacking me. Son of a bitch. See, maybe it's because he saw me kill his friend, but I swear last time he just he seemed passive at first. I mean, obviously that's Don Deere, right? So what was the other, what was the other person's name? Alva Laren. Uh, is it either of you? No. Is there anything good? Expensive advent... Adventurine? Adventurine? Ring? That's not a gemstone. I'm taking it. What do you have? Chuck, you know what? You don't deserve clothes. He's wearing a chess piece. Alright. Yeah, float, Don Deer. Float. Down here, they all float. Don't you want a balloon? Don't you want it? Don't you want it? Don't you want it? Don't you want it? Alright, what was the other... Uh, oh, I can't, I can't remember this fucker's name. Every time I look at... Alvis Claren. Alvis Claren. Alvis Claren. Try to remember that, Jason. Holy shit. What's down here? What's down here? There's some creepy shit, I would imagine. Or nothing at all. I am frankly okay with that. Don't know what the point of that is. But I'm okay with that. Uh, so we killed one of them. So we're like looking for this dude's booty or something? So there's probably a chest somewhere that's got like, you know, an, I don't know, an amulet or something in it that belongs to him. What was it, like, Alvis Claren? Oh, it's this guy. There you go. Alright, so we've killed uh, the bandits, and he has a key, probably for said chest. So let's see if we can find said chest. Again, there might not be a chest, but, uh, seems pretty bloody likely. Down where it's wet to take it from me. Upon the sand they walk all day. Something, something, something gay. Something, 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 and something wake from me. Look, I kind of forgot most of the lyrics there. Oh my god, it's dark in here without light on. Good lord. Good lord. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, this way. Wait. Oh, totally this, isn't it? Nope, it's not that. Hey, I'm gonna unlock you anyway. See if I don't. See if I don't. Oh my god, it's not backwards. Good work, but there's a single gold piece. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did drink that potion just so no one else could have it. Because if I can't have it, no one can have it. Uh, damn, man, I don't know where to go. Like, where's, where's the man's booty? Yes, I know there was another pathway back there with water. I'm just trying to make sure we aren't missing any other ones. Maybe it's down here? Maybe the man's booty is down here? I don't know why it would be down here. It seems a little silly, you know? Wait, is this... Is this just back to where we were? Dude, what are we look? Were we just supposed to kill them? I've agreed to help him recover. Yeah, okay, stolen glass. That's right. Let's make sure no one's carrying... Glass. Don't think they were. I mean, we didn't examine everybody, right? But there was no glass in here, was there? That's a bowl. I mean, it could be in like a crate or something. But why would they give us a key if it is? It seems very unlikely that it would be in a crate. Very, very unlikely. Where the bloody hell is it? Then? Oh, goddammit. What, what just happened? What just happened? Where's your goddamn glass? That's a glass bottle. It's probably not what he's looking for, I'm guessing. Alright, um... Well, this has to be the right place, okay? Because we found the, the, the dudes. And all of their friends, apparently. So I'm missing, like, a chest or something somewhere... So, I'm gonna look around and I'll bring you in when I find it. Oh, this is a side passage right here that I totally missed. Oh, here we go. Hello, buddy. How you doing? You like the, the leader or something? Leader of the pack? Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. Alright, well, he's dead. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be right this chest. No, it's a low quality. 
I need that shit. What's this book? Realizations of Acrobacy. Yoink! I said... Man, that's a long... Yoink! Give me that money. I take that paper. Maze or Matsy or whatever. Invisibility? Sure, that sounds handy. Is it in this chest? No, because we're also not opening it with the goddamn key. Is it in this chest? Hey! Okay, you gotta be... Yes! So this is the dude's glass. Is is this... Does it have white? Yes, it does. Hey! Man, how many weapons am I carrying? Holy shit! Uh... Sure, we'll get rid of that. It seems crap. We're still in Um... Fury I'll keep a hold of. Uh... 16,000 Jink Blade. I mean, the Jink Blade, oh, we'll get rid of that. We don't need the money. It's not really a huge deal. Okay, so we have the man's glass. There's also an old gate here. Let's unlock the old gate. I'd like to point out, we're still looking for Plantation Man. We will find him, don't you worry. Oh, no, don't hurt me. Why do you have, like, a, a keg of wine? Or whatever's in there. I mean, level three? You have, like, a, a beer keg or some shit. Look behind the gate. I guess that's the real reward there? Look, I'll be honest with you. We're probably never going to hand in this quest because I don't know where the guy is. I mean, northeast of... Northwest of here. Uh, well, in any case, uh, let's get back out of here and I'll bring you in if I find the trader man or if I find the plantation or something else. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm looking for the dude... Uh, to hand in the quest, and I've apparently found a random Argonian, traveling new woman. Why are you a new woman? What's your trade? I'm a farmer. I grow crops and raise animals for food and gather animal products and vegetable products from the land for my own use or for sale at the markets. Okay, then. What is this? It's a small farmhouse. Ain't a plantation, though, is it? Ain't no goddamn plantation. I'll take your lantern. Alright, you have been robbed, lady. Um, what is that? Oh, I've already been there, I think. Still looking around for this guy. We're in, uh, this doesn't levitate. We're in roughly the right place, I'm pretty sure. I mean, let's, let's get, ooh, hello. Look, two moons. Let's get high up in the sky real quick. Yeah, look down. Now, keep your eyes peeled. Let me know if you see him. That's her. That's not him. Nope. I swear he was by like a giant ass rock or something. Uh, maybe it was over here. Something's being mauled, I think. I swear this thing's attacking. If you've killed that man, you're gonna be in all kinds of trouble, sir. Yeah, this is not where he was. I think, wait, 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 so this is Dirty Ruin, so kind of in that direction. Anyway, again, I'll, uh, I'll bring you in. Oh, there he is. Damn right. Okay. Uh, stole all my goods. My glass! And those fetches left to right. Excellent. Teach criminals like that to meddle with an honest trader. Now let me tell you about a few trick of the trade. I think they'll come in handy for you. Your merchantile skill increased. Your journal has been updated. Thank you, sir. Now die. I'm just kidding. I could mock you, though. It's tempting. All right, so why is my journal being updated? I returned the raw glass that had been stolen from Tinos. Drop then. He was very happy that I had also killed off his former guards. In return, he taught me some tricks of the trade that should help me in the future dealings with merchants. So, I thought you were attacking me. You were about to kick the bucket, my friend. I see you there, little rat bastard. So, uh, once again, I'll get back to looking for this motherfucker. So, I'll bring you back in. What the hell am I clicking on? Where's my goddamn levitator? I should probably hockey then. Away! We don't need no satisfaction. But now, now, now. We don't need no freaking plantation. But now, now, this is not a freaking plantation. Hey, baby, how you doing? Nice tits. 
All right, so uh, apparently <clanes> I'm next to the Uliz Manor uh, that we, you know, we, we spoke to them. And there's actually a bunch of slaves here, and we can free them. Cannot be freed without a key. Uh, we might come back and free them at some point then. Uh, it's probably not a good idea we do it right now, though, because it might fuck up the quest. And oh boy, would that suck. I am still looking around for this plantation, by the way. Maybe this sign tells me where our plantation is. No. No, it doesn't. Alright. Alright. Fair enough, then. Fair enough. <gasps> I found it! It's dark as shit, and I've just been running along. I found it! It, it came in the other of civilization. Yes! Yes! Dovahin! Dovahin! No, I'm not gonna do that right now. Alright, so, boom! Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room to spend like together to now forever. Boom, 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 boom. All right, save. Uh, so, 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 so. Uh, we need to speak to the man who owns the plantation. It is not you, I don't think. It's dr something Dren. Guardhouse? He probably ain't in the guardhouse unless he's visiting to uh, go and jerk one of them off or something. I don't know. Maybe he has a relationship with one of these guards. It's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Probably in the villa. Let's have a look in the villa. It's his summer home. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Negaman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Who the hell are you? Put a shot on. Excuse me, I don't talk with people I don't like. Yeah, I don't like naked people. Except attractive ladies. And you don't fall into that category, Mr. Sixpack and Pictorals. So get the fuck out of here. Um, can I open you? No. Goes back out to the... Well, I can. But it goes out to the plantation. As does that. As does that. How many freaking doors do you need to outside? Makes it very easy for criminals. I hope you know that. Hello. How are you doing? That's more like it. I mean, I don't find you attractive in the least. But still. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Look at her bra straps. Alright, no, no, no. Look how wonky they are. That thing's been painted on, bitch. You're actually naked, aren't you? Alright, you wanna know who I'm looking for? I mean, I didn't think you were. I'm pretty sure I'm looking for a dude. Pfft, women. Well, they know, right? Oh, it's him. Oh, fuck you. Alright, Hortator. See, you want to be Hortator of House of Loon? You've got to be. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, wait. He said something different. Uh, you show unusual wisdom for an outlander, but what's the title of Hortator worth to you? Why do you want to be Hortator? Tell your story or to defeat Digather and bring peace to Morrowind? We'll go with that. He's attacking me. We were not supposed to say this. If I kill him, do we like fail the main quest? Oh my god! Never mind then. I was gonna say, if we kill him, do we fail the main quest or something? Uh, please tell me I saved it recently. Please tell me I was smart enough to do that. Please. Where did I last save it? Okay, just down here. Well, that's fine. Um. I actually do want to say that again to see if we fail the quest from killing him. Uh, I don't know. Let's go have a look. Uh, up here, and then naked lady, and then here he is. All right, save. Uh, I should probably heal up first, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. I'm bothering you. I know, I know. Uh, hold it on. Let me read what he said. You want peace, like the peace of the grave we've had since the tribunal betrayed us and signed the. Armistice, Armistice, the thing, Degotha has made me a better offer. The Sixth House will rise again. Wait, he works for Degotha? And crush the Empire and those smug hypocrites in the Tribunal? But enough talk. I know you now as my enemy, and you must die with the rest of the foreign devils. That, my friend, is xenophobic. Oh my good god. Yeah, damn right, I got out my paralysis weapon, you cheap bastard. I can be cheap too. Alright, stick one of these, and one of these, and one of these, and call me in the morning, and then we take some of this, and we get high as shit off our tits. Oh my god, look at the stars in the sky. Get clobbered, good, good man, get clobbered. Did not say we had failed the main quest. Uh, so what now? Are you agreeing that I can be hoarded to I mean, I don't think he's disagreeing. Hmm. Is that it? Is it done? What do I do now? 
Uh, let's make a separate save here and see what happens. Separate save. I hope I didn't spell that incorrectly because my spelling is not great. Reload the quick save. And we'll say the other thing, see if it works. I don't know. It didn't say we found anything. So it seemed like we were allowed to do that. It might just be no matter what we say, he's like, I work for Diggle Her. <laughs> so let's tell our story. That's the worst story I've ever heard. What makes you think I care about these prophecies? If you're the chosen one, why do you have to come to me? Why aren't you hot at all already, eh? I believe you have wasted enough of my time. Goodbye. That is quite enough. So I guess we have to say that, otherwise he's just going to tell us to fuck off. What if we... Hang on. No, no, hang on. What if we persuade him? I wonder I wonder if this would work. I doubt it, right? Because he's evil. He can't just reveal that to us. Wait a minute. Oh, it gives, oh, it gives us an extra option. Um, the other option is very similar. So, before we had to defeat Ag Agoth, yeah, good work, Brain. To defeat Dagoth Ur and bring peace to Morrowind, now we have to defeat Dagoth Ur and protect Morrowind from the Empire. Protect em protect from Empire instead of peace. Same thing, pretty much, right? So, we'll say that. What? Alright, I've long believed it was a mistake to turn from the old gods. Perhaps Azura is with you after all, and perhaps not. I will tell you that I've spoken with Dagoth Ur. He promised me the same thing. Uh, that he will drive the foreigners from our lands, but I am not one to ignore opportunity, nor am I one to be troubled by rubbing two sides of a coin. If you are a dark elf of your word, I am your ally. I will tell Valandia oh my, and, and those people to support you as Hortator of House La Lu. So, okay. I think we've done everything? It's possible I have to go back to these two now. Uh, now that we've got him on our side. But I wonder what would happen if we killed him and then go back to them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm probably going to reload the file where I've killed him. And then go speak to them and see what they say. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll just go with him being friendly. I'd rather just kill him, to be perfectly honest with you. Because he's a bit of a dick. Apparently. Uh, anyway, so as far as I'm concerned, one fucking house down... Two to go. Then we're going to finish the rest of the camps. Not long now. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. I am going the balls to sleep because you can probably tell I'm kind of tired. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, I always appreciate a like. It promotes the video and shit. You know, it's helpful. Anyway, good night, everybody. And goodbye.